Good evening, Southern California. You are watching yet another pursuit. This is one I have never seen before. An RV stolen out of Northridge. It's Fox 11 News coverage. Jumping on live here. Wow, did you see that turn with that uh, gigantic vehicle there? All right, uh, when you think you've seen it all in Southern California, apparently you haven't. So I'm going to go ahead and share this also on my Facebook page. I'm Christine Devine here at Fox 11, trying to connect with. Oh, wow, this guy is driving so dangerously, yes, in an RV blowing through lights and stop signs, nearly hitting several cars here. We are in the Northridge area as we watch this. It looks to be a high-speed pursuit with an RV. So let me try to get my Facebook page up, guys, so I can share in the conversation with you as you all weigh in here as we cover this pursuit here live on Fox 11 on the web as we share in the conversation Wow, look at that. Look at those speeds there. Uh, who knew, right? Uh, look at those speeds there in that stolen RV. Okay, found you guys on my cell phone here to be able to connect with you all. As Okay, got you up here. All right. Well, thank you to the 5,000 plus viewers who've joined us on this uh, crazy, bizarre. L look at the turn. Look at the way this guy is driving this RV. The question for me now is, are there others on board? Okay, look, look, is that fuel pouring out there? Uh, anybody know RVs to know what was pouring out there? All right, so let's see. We're in some kind of parking lot. Okay, is this suspect going to bring this pursuit to a close? The answer would be no. Okay, oh, 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 okay, crashed into the curb there. Did some damage to that RV. The front windshield appears to be out, broken, and yet the driver drives on. Okay, this is definitely one of the craziest uh, pursuits I have seen in my days covering pursuits. Uh, uh, police are on this, Hendricks. Police are definitely on this. In the wider shot, you can see police right there on the the trail. Uh, problem is, can you imagine doing a, a, a pit maneuver on an RV? That seems to be insane. Okay, watch how this, this guy is dangerous. He doesn't care about other motorists, does not care about other vehicles, blowing through lights. A couple of cars have come to like almost like a screeching halt there as this guy's turned in front of them. So we are continuing to watch this here at Fox 11. We thank you for joining us as we... Uh, watch one of the more bizarre pursuits here. Oscar, can you give me a location? I'm going to talk to our web team, Oscar, here and see if he wants to give me a location. Still in the Northridge area. Okay. So I'm going to share this here on my page as well. Okay, look at crossing several lanes. Who, I think, are you guys with me thinking who knew that an RV could travel like this? A high speed ish pursuit here with damage to the whole side the right look at the damage there to the side of that RV taken out by a palm tree I believe as it hit the curb there uh, Kirsten mine's not freezing up anybody else yeah Barbara I'm with you this driver thinks he's going to get away it, it yeah I don't think that's the issue here. The question to me is safety of others. Look at it, parts of the vehicle are literally falling off as he drives. Look at the wheel there on the right hand side. So I'm seeing our signal here clear. I'm not sure, perhaps, uh, I know a few of you are saying that you're seeing a broken signal. My signal is coming through loud and clear here, guys. Sorry about that on your end. Okay, all right, he slams on the brakes. All right, is this driver, it puts it in reverse? Are you kidding me? Oh, took the corner too quickly. All right, decided not to take that cor that, the turn there. Oh my goodness, wow. 
put the RV in reverse to continue going straight down perhaps a more major street. Uh, there might be a dog in, in the, there's a dog. There's a dog in the front. front oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that breaks my heart as we look and see. Look at the dog. The dog sticking his head out the window there. This is... This is, oh, that breaks my heart because you, you now you, you don't want anything to happen to any, you know, anybody on the street there. And, and we love our animals so much. This breaks my heart. So the, the, the dr guy is driving with the dog on the driver's side. Oh, wow. 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 Almost just got hit there. Almost just got hit there. So as the vehicle is literally falling apart, parts falling off as he drives, we have... This driver continuing to drive with the dog either in his lap to the left side of him, head hanging out the window. Have you seen anything like this? Yeah, so it's stolen. Obviously, this is somebody's vehicle. Look at the way this driver is driving, crossing those yellow lines there to get around cars. Boy, you just have to wonder how this one is going to end. You have to wonder. Uh, trying to get a feel for the speeds here of this vehicle. As, oh gosh, look at the way. I, mean, I can't believe that that vehicle is still going with that wheel there on the right. It looks like it's about to fall off. I could be wrong, but it doesn't look like it's in good shape at all. <clears throat> Uh, Gutierrez, you're asking how long this chase will take, <clears throat> meaning how long will this chase last? That's a, a darn good question. I mean, this driver is doing whatever he can to evade police, uh, blowing through lights, blowing through stop signs, nearly hitting several cars, nearly hitting several cars. Wow. This is insane. Uh, hang on, guys. Yes, I'm with you, Leroy. I thought I'd seen it all as well. Apparently, we've not seen it all. Uh, yet another wild, bizarre, crazy pursuit in Southern California. Police there right behind this guy. There you go. They're in that shot there, that wider shot. You saw the police vehicle. Uh, right behind them. A pit maneuver, that's got to be out of the question. Uh, spike strip, wow. Gosh, high rate of speed there? I don't know. Uh, Michelle, I am with you. This perhaps is the first pursuit of an RV that I have seen as well. And I mean, with, with the damage there to this vehicle, the dog in the driver's side sitting on the driver's lap. That makes it so much more crazy. Uh, Elizabeth, I'm with you. The person thinks they can get away, but here's my question. Is somebody going to get hurt in the process? Or look at the dog. Look at the dog bouncing there. Oh, oh God. You'd think this was some kind of crazy movie, am I right? Uh, it's not. It's not. This is Southern California. In Tarzana now? They're on top of coming up on Victory Boulevard. Uh, you should jump on with me. Uh, all right, our, our, our Kevin Takumi joining me here on our live Facebook look at this wild pursuit. And Kevin, you have a better feel for a location. Oh my God, more parts. What, what happened there? What happened there? Okay, so he came to a stop. I think the, I think the dog might have jumped out. The, 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 it, it looked as if... Either something fell off the vehicle, or you, Kevin, think... I mean, uh, I didn't see a dog the, running. The, the dog might have... They're looking for it now. The dog might have jumped out of the vehicle. Yeah, okay. Because he came to a kind right. of slow. Now they're going southbound at Winnetka. They're over by LA Valley. Uh, they're over by the college. So they're on Winnetka. He's backing up. He's trying to turn around at Winnetka. They're at Winnetka and Victory. Wow. Uh, wow. Now he's going so many back, close calls. Back eastbound on Victory. 
So, Kevin, you and I have covered a number of pursuits together. I, I, I've never seen an RV pursuit. No, we haven't. We've seen, we've seen U-Haul pursuits and uh, some larger vehicles. Okay. He's now running through oh, the middle wow, now wow, and going back wow. out. I mean, okay, just boy. Okay, so so our our team here, Oscar on the web, is saying, well, Oscar, no, look at it here. The dog is there. Another dog. There's another dog. And then the RV stopped, and they brought the dog. He got back in. He got the dog. The dog jumped out, got out. He stopped. Is that a different dog? That's a black dog. So what we did okay. is we went back to look at this live pursuit with our web team just seconds ago, and Oscar is telling us that the dog did either jump or fall out of the vehicle. You saw the driver slam on the brakes and then get the dog and get the dog back in the RV. All right, Kevin. So we're still eastbound on Victory here through the, through the I guess we'd call this back into the Tarzana area here. So, Kevin, uh, what kind of rate of speed do you think this guy's going yeah, at? Yeah, we're doing about 60 miles an hour. Making, now oh he's making gosh. a southbound turn here. You and, see a lot of... And is that fuel? It's just, no, that's no. going to be probably just water from the from what water tanks that are inside the RV there. So it's not it's not gasoline or anything like that. So it's... You know, campers usually carry a certain amount of uh, drinkable water I mean, on board. Look so. at that vehicle. Look at the vehicle. That is insane. Yeah, I mean, it hit the tree in the in the in the parking lot. Yeah, Araceli, what you're saying in capital letters, crazy. I I'm just praying, Kevin, nobody gets hurt. Look at the way this guy is driving. The high rate of speed. Luckily, an open stretch here, but several close calls with cars. Yeah, surprisingly, it hasn't rolled over at this point too, because it's taken a lot of those turns at very high speeds. Now. Um, Still yeah, Jeff, Jeff, what you said. Go ahead, Kevin. On, on Corbin here. And you can see there's there's not a lot of traffic, luckily, at this time, but there have been a lot of close calls here. Um, just passing underneath the 101. Oh, he just hit another car right there. Oh, just my car gosh. came in oh, off wow. of the off-ramp wow. there. Oh, wow. And the and the and so it's completely, they're still okay. going here. Wow. There was, a, there was a car that was coming off of oh, the 101 the freeway. Oh, gosh. The dog's still back in the vehicle, hanging on there. The whole right side, you can see, um, oh. the right side, front side steering is uh, blown out, not by just by the tree and also by the car that ran into them coming off of the 101 freeway. So as we're watching this, we just saw the first crash with this RV, where this RV crashed into a car. Uh, Kevin, could you get a feel for perhaps how bad that crash was. Well, the, uh, hopefully the, the driver of that vehicle is okay. It, I mean, it was a broadside right into it, but it wasn't, uh, looked like the car, oh, we just ran another car. It looked like there was, looked like there was possibly another car that was either backing out of that uh, driveway you see right there, but he hit that car uh, broadside. Oh, that the dog, the dog is in the street there? Okay, so okay, yeah, the suspect suspect's running. out running and the dog's going with. Oh. Looks is like it a, a woman? female suspect. Oh my Looks gosh. Like it's a female suspect. Oh my and gosh. The dog. She's going. Wh whoever lives the in this house, here. lock your doors. All right. Okay, CHP. She's trying to climb the gate. Okay, CHP oh, officers wow. are now pulling her down. The dog was with her. All right, so you have what appears to be a suspect down. They're putting the cuffs there on her right there. Uh, she was doing everything she could to get away, trying to jump over a fence onto somebody's property. That crash there, another vehicle you say, right, Kevin? That vehicle, the RV crashed into a car? It crashed into a car and then it went up on the, and then ended up on the, on top of the front sideway, sidewalk right there in front of that home. Yeah, John, I'm with you. Not funny at all. I mean, it was a crazy, crazy pursuit to begin with. But to see this driver at going at all lengths to get away from law enforcement with that dog, it is something that we have never seen before. Uh, there, there's the dog. There's the dog, the dog calmly, uh, you know, watching what's happening here. Okay, there's the, the look at that crash there. Hopefully yeah, you can see it took the back okay. end of that, that car off. It looked like that car was backing out of the, out of the driveway. Uh, you can see the driver of that vehicle possibly hurt it was backing out of the driveway when the motorhome hit it on the on the back side there mm -hmm. and spun it around mm -hmm. 
All right, so that driver obviously able to get out of the vehicle on his own, probably waiting there for law enforcement or some help to come. Uh, perhaps somebody else is in that home because you see a lot of cars there. Uh, perhaps somebody heard the crash and can come uh, give some aid yeah, to this man. Officers have probably put out, they, they have put out a call for uh, paramedics, not for just for this one, but the other call as well at the 101. Well, you can just hope that people weren't hurt too badly, but the high rate of speed, uh, the high rate of speed there in which that car was hit, obviously that man uh, hurt in some way, but hopefully not too badly. Okay, so you have to give some credit to police there for getting that woman from jumping that wall, that fence there, and getting onto that property. Yeah, they, they quickly took her into custody. They were right behind her, uh, went in for pursuit. She only got a couple of houses um, down the street there. Where she was trying to climb that fence uh, of the home you see where they are right now. And they were able to uh, pull her off the fence and take her into custody. You can see LAPD airship uh, just passing, going through. Looks like somebody's injured. There's some there's some blood on the ground. I don't know if it's the dog or if it's the woman at this point. It could have been the dog. Might have been um, thrown from the uh, from the RV again when mm -hmm. it. Uh, it looks like it might be the dog because the dog, the dog's paw is is kind oh. of limping on it and holding it off there. So oh. it looks like the dog's. Paw might have been hurt, probably when yeah. it was um, thrown from the vehicle. This, this might be the second dog. The first dog jumped out and then ran towards the Right, because the other dog okay. was brown. This one's, this one's black. So, the first dog, the dog, yeah, so we are getting first dog on Victory yeah. um, did run away from it when it uh, jumped out of the vehicle on Victory. All right, so clarification just coming in now from Oscar on our web team that there were indeed two dogs. All right, police there. Uh, helping this gentleman who was in the car, the second car that was hit by this RV. So now we have the two dogs. One did get out when you saw that vehicle come to a screeching halt. So one dog, one dog did get out, and then a second dog was also in the vehicle. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. So... Uh, you, you got to think that paramedics would be here at any minute to render aid. Obviously, this man not feeling okay enough to get up. So we're going to go pan over now and perhaps take a look at the path of this pursuit. Yeah, they're looking, uh, looking at the other other vehicle. All right, so here is the first car that was hit. Look at the damage to the front end of that car. Um, hard to tell if there were... More, more people in in the vehicle besides the one driver from this scene. Obviously, we had to leave the site of this crash as we went on to continue the pursuit where we saw the second crash and then that suspect try to run and be taken into custody. But here is the scene of the first crash, and I'm just amazed that there weren't more vehicles hit the there way this woman was driving. There were a lot of close calls uh, throughout this pursuit. The, the motorhome was going up 70 miles an hour, mostly on surface streets here. So uh, you see the first of uh, fire departments showing up. There's a second one that's been dispatched to the uh, termination of the pursuit. And you can see, you can see as it goes uh, up the street here, this is going to be uh, on Tampa. This is where it terminated here, on Tampa. Just uh, looks like it's just south of Bernetta. So okay. that's where uh, that's where this came to an end here. You know, Oscar uh, from our web team has been monitoring information for us. A lot of you have been asked and can, have been asking about the dogs and concerned about the two dogs. As we look right now at that injured person who was in that white car that was backing out of this driveway when that RV came flying down the road, hitting that car from behind, still awaiting for paramedics to arrive there to... Uh, talk with that man and here you have the suspect the suspect there handcuffed and the dog the dog bleeding uh, Oscar talk to me about what you're hearing about the dog and animal control uh, so animal control has been called animal control called to help attend to this injured dog that you're seeing right now okay all right like the woman's got a little bloody nose too probably from the impact from the uh, law two enforcement. crashes there or also law enforcement it could have been, down. but mm -hmm. the impact of that crash, though, that when, when she hit the back of that car was yeah. significant. And there was so much debris that was already hanging down from the, uh, 
from the crash with the tree at the Northridge Mall. So um, very easily at that point, she could have been she could have hit or or something like that. But when law enforcement took her down, it looked like they didn't they 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 pulled her off of the gate, but didn't. Uh, it wasn't didn't look like there was any motions that would have caused that, that looks more like an injury caused by the impact crash okay and Lisa Roy, yes, we are seeing that the dog is bleeding. The dog's left paw seems to be injured. Animal control has been called. Uh, Oscar, do you know uh, about the status of the first dog, the dog that either jumped or fell out of the vehicle? Uh, yes, so I, uh, we're getting an update here. So there's video of... You want, do you want to fill? Okay, Oscar from the web team is going to fill you guys in. Um, yeah, so the, the dog, the first dog that, that we saw that jumped out of uh, the vehicle or, or fell out of the vehicle... Um, we, I, I actually saw a video of the other side of the RV and that dog actually made it across the street onto the sidewalk. That's where the video stops. Uh, you see the driver coming to a screeching halt, see if they can get that, uh, dog back. But, um, they didn't, the dog made it out to safety out of harm and the RV kept going. I just want to interrupt you for a second here, Oscar, because what we're looking at here is the fire department now on the scene of that first crash. It looks like there might be somebody injured because you saw them walk over there perhaps with um, one of those kits to, to aid somebody in need. Uh, so again, you have the fire department here. This is the first crash. Look at the damage to that front end there. This was the car that was hit, you know, straight on there by that RV it that much, kept on going. Yeah, it pretty much came right off of the, uh, they got the green light at the off-ramp, they went forward. Um, luckily, it wasn't at, at a high speed, but you can see the amount of damage it was, it's taken wow. from the collision with that motorhome. Mm -hmm. um, but they weren't going at a very high speed when they were coming off the off-ramp there. Uh, it broadsided the side of the side of the uh the rv you can see um the driver and uh, people passengers in that vehicle they're they're standing up and talking to uh fire department uh fire department personnel at this time so um and, and as we see these people here standing on the corner it's hard to tell if uh there was one person in the car she looks to be hurt here perhaps a left shoulder injury they're looking at now don't know if the other two helping her uh, are, are friends or her were with her or they're actually witnesses or people who just came to be of aid but you can see there that intersection is going to be you know blocked off this is the, this is the freeway off ramp yeah this is the tampa off ramp off of the eastbound or southbound one-on-one -on -one freeway right at the bottom of uh Tampa off-ramp, so you can expect CHP to be closing that off-ramp soon. Looks like they're getting the rest of the vehicles off of there. Looks like the only door, the only the door is open on the sedan that hit the RV, so it's probably just the driver there. Probably the other two people are witnesses of the crash. So, um, but uh, firefighters uh, talking to her, but she is uh, standing up and talking to paramedics there, and they're trying to assess her at this point. Looks like a little bit of a shoulder injury that they're tending to there. Yeah. Um, just from probably from the seatbelt and as well as the uh, airbag going off. But, you know, uh, she's she's she is standing up and talking to paramedics. So that's a good sign. I, I'm thinking of this intersection here, Tampa and the 101, the off ramp here. I was just there earlier today for a Wednesday's child shoot. And, you know, you think of these pursuits as we watch them on TV, but they can happen anywhere. Um, the RV was moving at such a high oh, rate of speed gosh. and uh it's just no no warning that uh, that it was barreling barreling down the street here. No warning at all. Well, Whitney describes it this way: she was just mowing people over. Uh, you know, she was just plowing down the road at a high rate of speed with no regard for other vehicles. Um, I am amazed that more vehicles weren't hit. Yeah, it was, throughout it this was, pursuit, yeah. there were a lot of a lot of times there could have been. Um, a lot more collisions mm -hmm. throughout the, especially this time of the afternoon. Tampa is a major north-south through the San Fernando Valley, so just uh, so many close calls. Uh, there were a couple of times at the beginning of this pursuit where um, where the RV was pushing other cars that were in its way out of its way. So there's some minor collisions, but those were um, not to the extent that we've seen here at the end of this pursuit. So it's not rush hour traffic, but you know, LA there's always traffic, especially on an off ramp there at Tampa. And uh, you can see cars there being diverted around this accident. So at least law enforcement hasn't closed down the road completely. They're allowing cars to come through and try to get them along their way. They could have been already lined up on the on the uh, lined up on the off ramp there. Yeah. Um, they're trying to get them off. It looks like uh, it look, look, looks like the fire department personnel 
It looks like uh, oh, the, the okay, woman look. driver uh, looks like a family member has yeah. shown up to the drive, but mm -hmm. it looks like um, fire department has, uh, they put away the gurney, so it looks like they're just going to uh, sign and release, release her, uh, which is some minor injuries, which is lucky at this point, considering the amount of damage that was done to the uh, front of that car when it hit the motorhome. Kevin, that, that was a moment there to see that loved one, whether it's family, friends, uh, just to see that embrace there. I mean, you have to wonder, was that person watching this pursuit? Did the person see that pursuit? Did they get a phone call to come down? Uh, they that, were definitely that close by they, because yeah. it's only been about 10, 15 minutes here since um, since this, since the pursuit and since, since that crash. So the person, uh, that loved one, got there fairly quickly. So that person probably getting off the freeway and um, being very close to home here in the area. And you see firefighters starting to yep. attend to the, uh, the driver of the white car that was hit at the termination mm -hmm. of this pursuit. Um, and that car was hit from as it was backing out. So it was, I, going. It was going coming it in. It was okay. just coming in. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. So our Oscar on the web team clarifying that that white vehicle was coming in when it was hit, which probably would have been maybe a more direct hit there by that RV, that driver, obviously. Okay, that's the suspect. That's the woman driver who was behind the wheel of that RV. And that dog has stayed by her side. We do know there's an injury. There is bleeding and it looks like the paw has been injured. But that dog has been so mellow staying yeah, by the, her side. The dog was the dog was just about well pretty much ejected from it at the time of the collision ended up ended up about 50 feet ahead of the collision point and was standing there and then she got out and started running and the dog just kind of followed in behind mm -hmm. her and kept going she tried to climb that fence that's just at the towards the top of the screen there uh, officers were able to uh, wrestle her off the fence but you can see that that those the, the blood there is coming from the from the paw of the uh, dog you can mm -hmm. see it's kind of tending and keeping its paw in there Oh, right. Okay. So, so just looking at another angle with Oscar here about that white vehicle that was hit as it was pulling into uh, the driveway of perhaps a, their home, uh, j just a few doors down from where the suspect is right now. And, and the driver is pulling in and it's hit from behind. So the vehicle was hit from behind. It just, just didn't, just didn't make it in there in time. Just yep. another split yep. second. Just another split second. Oh yeah, you know what? Because the road curves there, the road curves, and the the RV had been damaged enough in the steering. So when the curve and the road came along, the 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 RV just went straight. It went up on the curb, and and went. The the car was just about almost inside the driveway, but the RV got up on the curb and uh, couldn't make the turn there. So you can see how we're at where it's positioned mm -hmm. now. It went and the and the marks in the driveway where it crossed straight over but that and that's what brought this to an end hitting that white car and then plowing into whatever was there yeah a tree it looks like a there's a tree or, or just or, or just or just finally completely disabled the rv where it couldn't go anymore because you know we're about we're about half a mile three quarters of a mile away from tampa I mean, from the 101 freeway. So she kept going on this street for almost another three quarters of a mile before it came to a stop here. So that first collision didn't stop her at all. The first, the very first collision at the Northridge Mall didn't stop her at all. So yeah. she just kept I mean, going with the amount of damage that she had. I mean, the, literally the RV was falling apart as she drove the windshield out front, front and damage to the RV. And then you have it ending here in this neighborhood. That driver that was hit being attended to could be a seatbelt injury, could be uh, an airbag injury. Um, it could have been some debris. There was a lot of there was a lot of the front portion of the RV that was hanging down mm -hmm. after that collision at the mall. So um, any any of those pieces uh, definitely could have hurt her at, at the time. So you see the neighborhood here, uh, obviously people are hearing about the end of a pursuit in their neighborhood coming out to see what's happening as police have blocked off portions of that road as they continue to investigate and to hold that suspect there uh, as we are watching the end of a pursuit. The suspect still there. The fire department there now checking her out. Remember, we looked at, it looked like she had a bloody nose. Uh, a lot of you are speculating here on our Facebook chat. Uh, was she on drugs? Kevin, I mean, she was driving 
crazy. It was it was a, it was a crazy drive. She had the 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 pedal all the way down, all the way coming down Tampa. And like we said before, we're just amazed that there weren't other collisions at the time. There were so many cars in the road. It's um, you know coming up on eight o'clock here, and traffic in the valley is still pretty heavy. So um, we were just lucky that there were not more uh, collisions all the way through this. But even the even the couple that she had, there was significant amount of damage, and she wasn't going to stop. <clears throat> You know, the, once they had her in custody, I mean, she tried to run to that, that fence there. Yeah, the front the door gate. and the gate right there. She tried to, she climb, tried to climb the over gate. It. So she was on the move trying to get into that neighborhood, into that house. Law enforcement just pulled her down, stopped her. But she hasn't really been agitated at all while she's been here in handcuffs. Not since there, not since things have kind of calmed down and whatnot. So we, but we don't know what, what this all involves. The initial call was that it was a, a stolen RV. We're still trying to find out where, what division CHP did start the pursuit up in the Santa Clarita area. So we're, you know, we're still waiting on those details. But, oh, Santa Clarita. Uh, that's where we yeah, wow, started that far out, north. That far north. Because we picked it up around down. Northridge. Yeah, they picked it up after it had come down and then off to 118 and came back around again. So, uh, Yeah, and Jackie, to answer your question, animal control has been called. Remember, there were two dogs. One dog either fell out of the RV as it was driving or, or, ran, or jumped out, and she put the brakes on, and that dog... Uh, we're still trying to get the status of that dog. That's where the pursuit came to an end after hitting that white car. So for anybody joining us now, this was a pursuit of an RV that was stolen. Kevin sang out of Santa Clarita. We picked it up in Northridge. It ended here in this neighborhood after hitting that white car there. Uh, the suspect, though, often they'll put the suspect in a police car once the pursuit has ended and take them away. Kevin, do you think they were waiting on this one for paramedics They're, to they arrive? They were just waiting for paramedics to arrive to assess her. Um, she wasn't, uh, like you were saying, she wasn't agitated anymore. Yeah. So if, if she was still um, combative, they would have put her into the back of the black and white. But uh, she was just kind of at that point, once uh, they had her handcuffed, she was, um, she, was just, uh, she was just sitting there. So they were able to uh, keep her detained there, but they didn't need to put her into the back of the black and white. She wasn't being combative at all at the, after, after being taken into custody. And did need apparent medical attention. So, Ale, you're saying that she was probably high on something. I don't know. I mean, the way she was driving was so erratic and so dangerous. But then you have her here in handcuffs and, you know, no, no agitation at all. So it's hard to tell, but she is being looked at right now by firefighters. Uh, she is in cuffs. This pursuit has come to an end. Uh, you know, we were talking about, in case you missed the pursuit, how dangerous, <clears throat> excuse me, how dangerously she was driving on these busy streets. I mean, he almost hit several cars. So I'm seeing that, that this started, this actually the uh, Santa Clarita Sheriff's Department um, tried to stop the vehicle, um, reported stolen. Once it got on the freeway, it was handed off to the California Highway Patrol at that point. So it came down out of Santa Clarita, down the five, down the 405, then went on the 118 to the west a little bit, then looped back around off of Rinaldi, and then came back down into, through the Northridge area, down Tampa at very high rates of speed on surface streets all the way down Tampa to, and then kind of looped around the Tarzana area over to Victory. Um, that's where we first saw the first little brown dog um, jump out of the, of the motor home. And then uh, she kind of did a U-turn at Winnetka and then came back. And then this is where we ended up, southbound back on Tampa with a crash right at the 101. But uh, kept going here for another mile or so before it finally crashed again into another vehicle. And that finally uh, brought the motorhome to a stop uh, mechanically. It couldn't go any farther. It was up on the curb in the grass, possibly up against a fence in a tree there. And then so the dog got out. The dog was actually thrown out of the vehicle to right. start with. Looks Let's take a look here. Uh, Kevin, is that a neck brace yeah, around they're, her? Yeah, they're putting a neck yeah. brace on her. Um, let's see if, don't know if this gurney is for her or for the driver. No, I what think it's for her, be for because her. They have a second set of paramedics mm -hmm. tending to the driver of the white car that was hit right in front of his driveway. So at this point, it looks like they're going to transport her. They'll probably transport from the injuries. It looked like that the uh, driver of the other vehicle was in uh, quite a bit of pain. So he's probably going to go to the hospital, uh, for evaluation by doctors at, uh, 
the emergency room. But yeah, they've got her in a neck brace, and looks like they're going to load her up, and they'll take her uh, take her to the hospital. So obviously, she was not so badly injured that she couldn't sit there peacefully. So now you have paramedics there, uh, thinking that they are going to need the gurney to transport her. Uh, again, we don't know her state of mind. Alcohol, drugs, some of you have asked. We just don't know. Animal control has been called. Just and so I'm that wondering, might be them there in the white, white, okay. white van there. Yeah, in the big, yeah it looks like that's going to be, uh, that's probably going to be uh, animal control in the big white van that showed up there. Boy, yeah, I mean. Let's see what she does. I think she's going she's gonna to probably take the... Um, Tend to the dog, maybe bandage it up, take the dog into uh Alice watching from Illinois. Alice, if you saw this uh, pursuit from start to finish, okay, uh, you, you know, this is one of the more crazy ones. So so can she even walk? I mean, that was a violent yeah. jolt. Yeah, she can still, she's still stand up. I yeah. mean, she was still... In in a you know in a, she was still in a position yeah. to run after the after it crashed and finally came to a stop. But here. but then again, if someone's on drugs, you know that adrenaline, yeah, adrenaline can, can, can get you right. going, and um, you know but who knows? That's just speculation. Yeah, they're going to sit her. They're going to sit her down, and then they're going to and then they're going to put her in the ambulance. It looks like she's talking to uh, animal control right there, um, probably just to see if uh, is if the, the dog, dog friendly. If the dog how. Oh, well, the dog's injured and um, she needs to find out, you know, if there's any special needs to the dog besides the injury. If, you know, some dogs need medications or anything like that. So, so this is a whole new scene now playing out here as animal control has arrived to, uh, you know, take care of this dog. The dog has been bleeding, looks like an injured paw. The dog is kind of resisting there, you know, coming up to um, the commands there of that you know, animal control officer, but this is what they do. This is what they do. But watching this live here is something that, again, I have never seen as we've covered so many different pursuits and so many different outcomes to see an animal like this. I mean, have you seen an animal in one of our animals, No, I've never Kevin? seen an animal in this kind of pursuit. I mean, if, if, if she is the owner, I mean, the dog's watching the owner um, go away, the dog's injured, I think she's going to... Yeah, it looks like she's going to get um, one of her other um, other uh, other poles that they use to uh, to capture dogs. The dog's also injured and afraid. I mean, it's it had to be a harrowing thing even for the dog to, especially at the end there, to be come to a, a crash. And one of the things we were worried most about is that the that the dogs were going to get ejected because there was no windshield on it. Yeah, Sulin, I agree with you. The dog could be scared. I mean. Could, if you look back and saw that pursuit, as the driver is driving in this RV, the windshield is blown out, basically, and the dog's hanging out the window yeah. of the driver's seat. And it's a big dog on the driver's side yeah. hanging out the front windshield with no, no glass. Yeah, first so, it was a so, little dog. And okay. Then... And th this is the first we've seen the dog become a little bit um, more well, agitated yeah. here. It's got a hurt. It's, got, it's injured. It's afraid. Um, you know, animal control. There, she's got her. She's got her. Okay. Aww. So now they're going to, you know, the dog isn't, uh, it's, luckily, you know, it's not overly aggressive. It's just scared. It's just, it's scared because of the injury that, and, and the whole commotion of everything. So. Yeah. That's a big dog. You're right, And it's boy. a big dog, but I think most of all, she's, the dog is scared. It's not, uh, you know, it's not being aggressive by trying to attack or bite anyone and remember this is one of two dogs another dog either jumped out or fell out of the front uh oh fell or okay i'm looking at video now of the first dog equally a big dog C could you tell oscar did the dog jump here here's oscar going to update us on the, the first dog as we look at now the injury the man who's being treated here when that that RV there on the right, at the top of your screen, crashed into that car, turning into the driver. Oscar. Uh, yeah, so f talking about the first dog, uh, you know, I've seen a few uh, video clips already circulating on social media from different angles, and it looks like the first dog uh, jumped out 
of the RV and uh, rolled a few times on the concrete road and then ran off. Uh, the RV, of course, came to a screeching halt, but uh, kept going. Okay. So, so, so now we have the driver of that white car. Uh, they've been able to get him up. He did look earlier when, uh, when he, after he got out of the, the car and was sitting on the ground and looked in, 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 in pain. Mm -hmm. He was going through a lot of pain. It looked like he was a little bit more elderly. Yeah. So um, they, they looked like they had their EKG hooked up to you know, check on him as well here. But he's definitely... Um, going to the hospital, um, probably from a lot of imp uh, impact injuries mm -hmm. there. Um, he got hit from the back. So, And you can see it what looks to be either friends or maybe even family standing by there on the left side of the firefighters there. Yeah, they were probably in the house at the time uh, at, yeah. of the impact. And, um, and hard, hard to tell if it's neighbors or people from the home, but they're letting firefighters and paramedics do what they have to do, which yeah. is do their job and get this man the care that he needs. They do like probably like family members because it looks like they've cleared out a lot of the neighbors uh, farther down the street. So they, they would only allow um, family members to uh, to be to be hanging there and watching. They're watching them take care of him, but it looks like they're going to they're going to transport him. They're going to transport the suspect. And, but not transport, as we saw earlier, the, the driver of the vehicle that was hit at the 101 in Tampa looked like she, they looked her over, they assessed her, and looks like she refused to be transported or any further attention by the paramedics. I'm sure she'll go to the doctor, but that she refused to be um, transported by the paramedics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sulin, who knows what the injury is? You're thinking a possible back injury? Uh, looked like his shoulder might have been in some pain, perhaps his ribs. I mean, that was a violent yeah, impact that there. A, that was an impact of, a, of at least like 40 miles an hour by a by a, another vehicle, which is so heavy in mass there. You can see it completely sheared off the back end of the car there and spun it up against the wall. So, and he, he had to get out by the passenger door because he's pinned up against the, on the driver's side. So. You can see some family members uh, checking, probably to see which hospital they're going to. Mm -hmm. Probably going to, um, both of them going to Northridge at this point, since that's the closest trauma center in the area. Boy, what a jarring evening uh, for that man as he's merely pulling into the driveway here of this home to see a, an RV barreling towards you at a high rate of speed with the windshield out, blown out, gone, a dog in the driver's seat. I mean, yeah. you, you have to think this is surreal. Yeah, if that, you even have a moment to to catch it in your eyesight. Yeah, in, in the fly, in the instant, all you, if you look, you know, I don't know if you've even. He was, you know, he was pulling in there. He was pretty much in his driveway. The v, the RV had so much damage from the earlier collisions that it couldn't make the slight turn in the road you see to the left there. So it just kept going straight, and it ran right into the back end of that uh, that white sedan you see right there. And if he had a, a, a moment just to, gl to, to glance over to the right and to, to see that this RV barreling down, like you said, no windshield, driver, Surreal. And dog right in there. And at the, Surreal. And at the point of impact, uh, the, that black dog had to, had to be thrown at least 30 feet there from the point of impact because it was just in the front. And, you know, it, it ended up much farther ahead and had to wait for the owner of the or, you know, the driver, our suspect, to catch up to where the dog was thrown. So you're watching this come to an end here. Now police will need to investigate uh, who is this woman, where did she get this stolen RV out of Santa Clarita. Um, she's in an ambulance. The driver of that white car is in an ambulance. Another driver was being treated at the scene. The one dog from this scene is now in the hands of animal control. And, and Oscar, the second dog. So the second, the second dog uh, was injured, but uh, uh, animal control is tending to that dog. All right, second dog also with animal control. And you're saying was injured? 
Yeah, the second dog was injured. Was it? One, yeah. The first, one, the first dog looked like he took a rough tumble. Okay. But ran off and there was no signs of blood or anything left on the roadway. But okay. the video stops after the dog runs off screen. So we don't know if that dog was captured by anybody or if it's still running somewhere in the city. All right. So... The update from Kevin, uh, sorry, uh, from Oscar here, who's giving us the update on the first dog. Remember, there were two dogs uh, in this scenario. We're still trying to get information on the first dog because it either jumped, fell out, whatever, of the RV. And we're still waiting to get an update on the status of that dog and where it is. Okay. So for those of you who are asking what happened, this is really one of those where if you want to know what happened, well, watch us tonight on Fox 11 News at 10 o'clock because we'll have an update as we investigate and try to bring you the latest and get footage perhaps from the scene, from the ground, and from witnesses. So for those of you who didn't see this, you can perhaps go back and watch our Facebook Live from the top or watch us in Fox 11 News at 10 o'clock to see what we can find out during the next two hours. So Kevin Takumi, you've covered many, many, many a pursuit. Firefighters now checking what? They're just they're just going through the vehicle, making sure that uh, everything's been everything's been turned off, disconnected. Just um, you can see how much damage there is to the back of that. They probably have a uh, a fuel leak. In the back, I mean, you can see that, that it completely sheared off the whole back end of that of that sedan you see right there. So they're having to make sure that all the power is off and disconnected. They don't want to have a fire flash up at any point. There's significant damage to the RV as well. It looks like in under the tree, it looks like it's in another driveway, and it looks like there's a couple pillars there. So that's probably what brought it to a halt. But once again, amazing that... We didn't have more collisions throughout this pursuit at this time of the evening here and having an RV barreling down the, down the streets at uh, 70, 70 miles an hour here. But you can see, you know, we come around here, probably punch the fence there, the wall, where it's come to a rest there. We can't see it because of all, that, all the trees in the area, but uh, you can, there is a wall right there, so it looks like that's where it came to a stop just because there was so much damage. It couldn't, it couldn't make that slight turn there as it as, uh, as uh, Tampa comes to a turn running southbound, but it ended up uh, running right into that car that was pulling into his driveway. Another, another one more second and he would have been out of the way, but he just not, not fast enough to get out of the way. So you have the end of this pursuit now. So my question is that RV is going to be on this property for how long, Kevin? Eventually they'll have well, to come and probably, tow it away. I mean, this pursuit started with the sheriff's department. It continued. It continued with the uh, with the CHP. Um, it ended with the CHP with the assistance of some LAPD units that were in the area. So a lot of jurisdictions this went through. You can see the firefighter there. He's looking to disconnect the battery um, just to make sure there's no electrical uh, flashpoints or anything like that. So that's what they're doing there. Is they're going to reach in there and disconnect the battery. But so this investigation is going to go on for, you know, at least six hours here, especially with the, the number of injuries that were involved in the, and also uh, maybe uh, it didn't look like there was a use of force at the end of the pursuit that they were just trying to, they just got, got her off of the gate. And once she was in custody, everything kind of calmed down after that. But um, still a lot of, a lot of damage to, uh, to cars, you know, they have to document the collision that happened at the Northridge Mall as well. So they're just going to, this is going to be a lengthy investigation. LAPD is going to handle the collision investigations um, because it all, it all happened in their jurisdiction here in, uh, in the Valley. So the Valley traffic is going to handle the investigations for the collision that happened on the, uh, at the 101 on Tampa and at the, at the termination point here. Um, and then, uh, you know, CHP is going to be involved in it as well. So that motorhome and this, and Tampa there, just uh, just north of Wells, going to be closed for at least five or six hours here, while as they make all their investigations. So it looks like the helicopter is moving on to perhaps the first location, or moving on to cover. Yeah, they're probably going back to news. take just take a look at uh, Northridge Mall. It, the it hit at that point. It hit. Uh, 
It hit the uh, a tree in the parking lot. So actually, they're coming up to Victory. Maybe they're going to go look for the other dog real quick. So they're on. They're at. They're looking at Victory, and yeah, they're going back down to the left. They might be looking for the other dog and see if somebody picked up the other picked up the other dog. So. All right. Uh Jerry, yes, it was a stolen RV, but we, we don't know who she stole it from. So still trying to get information on that. Hopefully we'll have that on Fox 11 News at 10, p, 10 p.m. Uh, I know a lot of you are concerned about the dogs. So I think this kind of brings our coverage to a close. Are we... Uh, we're going to wrap this up here on our Fox 11 Facebook page. Okay, so again, guys, uh, if, you, if you missed it, Kind of worth going back to look at this one if it's like nothing we've seen before. Otherwise, we'll have coverage tonight on Fox 11 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Christine Devine here with Kevin Dakumi and Oscar and, and Patrick here on the web watching this for you and with you. Thanks for being with us.